Hi, my name's Rachel Andrews. Welcome to Everyday Athlete. On this week's video, I thought I'd try out a different post-swim snack, which accounts for why I'm in the new forest. We're gonna go and look for a couple of sweet chestnuts, hopefully to roast on the beach after the swim. I picked the idea of sweet chestnuts because it is October and it was really, really windy last night. And so I'm hopeful that there's been quite a few that have dropped down. I can see there's quite a few up in the tree here and that they're open, which will mean that they are ripe. So let's have a little bit of a scrat around before we go down the beach. Well, there's a little one. We can start off with this little one, um, but I'm hopeful of getting some bigger ones. Oh, spotted another one. Again, quite small. It's funny that the different trees have different size um, fruit coming off them. So we're gonna have a look, little look around this tree, but these seem pretty small and they might be a bit miserable as snacks, but it's always good to have a go and find your snack rather than buying it. So uh, we'll continue for a few minutes. Well, three, not bad so far. A few little mushrooms as well. Oh. Oh, now we're talking. That's a better one. Oh, yes. Brilliant. out. Can't see if you can see that. Not a bad little hole there. Good handful. Um, that should be enough to make a little snack on the beach. Let's go for a swim and then have chestnuts. Well I'm down at the beach and absolutely ready to get in. A bit windier than I expected so uh, not sure how the fire starting is going to go but I'm confident I can have some roast chestnuts after my swim. And my friend Barb has come down to join as well, but uh, she's just having a drink and a, and a little watch. But she, I'm sure she'll be in for the chestnuts, so we'll see how we go. Nice just to have a bit of a drift and just to hang out in the water. I've got no intention of swimming very far today. Um, I'm feeling pretty whacked out from quite a um, uh, busy week at work. So just a little reset, hanging out in the water and uh, a bit of cooking on the beach afterwards. I think that'll set me right up for the weekend. I'm out 
and dress, so it's time to give it a go at um, starting my fire in the wind. I'm pretty confident the little um, my little fire thing is going to work, but let's get on and have a go. ingredient to get it started as well which is good. Yeah. But yeah it's all just bits of driftwood. Except for my special weapons which are these made of lint out of the dryer with candle wax. That's my fire starter. So let's see how we go with that. <laughs> These might turn into little bombs. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen here. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got sunglasses, put them on. <laughs> You're talking about casualty, I'm demonstrating how you get there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're getting there. They are at least cooking. I'm just not quite sure when we'll know they're ready. Have one half raw one, uh, or al dente, as Rachel just told me, that might be quite a good term for it. Um, and we'll test them in a couple of minutes. <laughs> oh, I did. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, Rachel. Oh, hot, isn't it? <laughs> Tastes pretty good though. Well, that's one thing I really love about outdoor swimming, getting to meet other people. And I just met a brand new friend there, Rachel, who'd come down to the beach for a swim on her own. She was curious as to what we were doing there. We were uh, just trying to get the fire going to make the sweet chestnuts. And uh, so it was lovely to meet someone else who was just out and about enjoying nature. I am so pleased that I bothered to drop by the forest and uh, find a few of those sweet chestnuts because that was a superb post-wim snack and I've still got a few left. It did take a little bit of time to get it going in the wind but once it started the old bush box was on fire. I'm gonna have the rest of these for my lunch. I hope you've enjoyed this week's video and you've seen there's uh, even a bit of foraging can be done with swimming. If you're looking for a challenge and something to do over the winter, think about taking up Blue Tonic's Winter Challenge, Awaken Your Blue Mind. I made a video on that a couple of weeks ago, which I'll link below. But suffice it to say, it's all about getting out and about and active in and around the water. You don't have to get wet, but there's loads of different challenges. I think we came up with 60 different ones that you can do to get yourself out and about, in, on, or around the water. Come on, come and join in. I'll leave the link below. If you enjoyed the video, please drop me a line and uh, tell me what you enjoyed. Tell me what you'd like to see in future videos. And also, let me know if you've been in the water this week. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe. So click on my face, ding the little bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.